Hello everyone, it's Heidi Dulaban, International Cultural Consultant and Etiquette Expert. So it's time for another Dear Heidi, and I really appreciate when people take the time to send in questions via my website. So thank you very much, or please put a question in comments and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So today someone writes, let's see, Dear Heidi, I am a college graduate that recently entered my first job. My coworkers have been very supportive and it's been great working here. But recently, I've started to notice a cultural difference between our values, humor, and even our demeanor towards not only each other, but to our clients. I am the only non-Caucasian employee at the company and sometimes I feel like they treat me differently and that I'm an odd part of the team. Sometimes it's discouraging and I often find myself keeping to myself. Is this all in my head? How do I navigate the professional workspace with a minority voice? Oh gosh. Well, thank you for the question. And number one, congratulations. You're a college graduate and you've landed your first job. I'm very happy to hear that it's been great so far, but I'm not so happy to hear that there's a shift. You're noticing a cultural difference between values and humor, and even the way you treat each other and your clients. This could be a red flag. So let's just, let's just unpack this. So it was all going great, and now you're starting to notice things. Maybe perhaps you've been there long enough that you're starting to see how things really are. You ask if this is all in your head and while only you can answer that truly, I can venture a guess that since you're asking these questions, perhaps it is not all in your head. So you ask about being a minority voice. You know, many of us at some point in our career will find ourselves as the only one fill in the blank. For parts, a large part of my career, I was always the only female. But my advice to you is to just keep doing your work, doing it well. I assume you're, you're doing great at the job. So keep doing that. But if you hear things that are off color, perhaps a joke, then you need to always stay true to your values. Never compromise your values, never. And if you hear something that is offensive, a joke, then you need to call it out. You need to be working in a safe space, a safe work environment that you can call out something that you think is inappropriate in a respectful manner. For instance, if you hear a joke that is off color, you, may, you might say to someone, you know, I find that joke offensive and I would appreciate it if you would please not repeat things like that again. Thank you. That was politely put and hopefully they got the message. You're not going to stand for things like that. You know, a diverse workforce, many studies have shown the diverse workforce are the most innovative, the most creative, and the most productive, and the most profitable. So how is this company doing? Are they profitable? Are they doing well? Are they growing? You know, you say that you feel that you're an odd part of the team, and that pains me because you deserve, even this is your first job and you're just starting out and just learning, you still deserve and you need to feel that you are a respected and valued member of the team. So one thing you could do is you said in the beginning things were great. So was someone extra attentive or kind or solicitous to you? Perhaps you reach out to someone and ask if they would be so kind to mentor you. You know, being a mentor is incredibly rewarding and being a mentee is such a wonderful position. You can reap such great benefits from that. So try to find a mentor. You do all of this and despite all your efforts, 
you still feel that this is something is off, then you need to ask yourself some very serious questions. Number one, is this company a good fit for me? And number two, am I a good fit for this company? What's the future? What's the future for you in this company? Do you see room for growth? Are you learning? You should be. And there should be many opportunities for you to grow throughout the company. So if you ask yourself these tough questions and you find that perhaps this is not a good fit for you, then let me tell you something. Life is short. I know it's true though. It's true. So find a better fit because they're out there. You're just starting your first job and the whole world is waiting for you. So I wish you all the luck in the world. Stay true to your values. Stay true to yourself. Never compromise. Try to find a mentor. Keep doing your good work. Keep doing what you're doing and make sure you're always in a good fit. So thank you for the question. Stay, stay in touch. I want to hear how things go for you. And I appreciate this very much. And as I always say, thank you, everyone. And please, please be kind. Thank you.